Good evening. It's called the Centers for Disease Control, but there are serious concerns tonight about how well the CDC controls dangerous germs at its own labs after yet another safety lapse. Today, the CDC says it mishandled a shipment of deadly flu virus. This comes after a mishap involving anthrax and the discovery of smallpox virus that was misplaced at the National Institutes of Health. The head of the CDC today, Dr. Dom, Tom Frieden, said, quote, he was astonished at the latest breach and angry. Here's Dr. John LaPook. For the third time in a month, the CDC acknowledged deadly pathogens were handled incorrectly in government labs. CDC oh, Director yeah. Dr. Tom Frieden. So I'm upset, I'm angry, I've lost sleep over it, and I'm working around the clock to make sure we do everything possible to resolve it. In the latest case revealed today, CDC workers somehow lost track of samples of the dangerous H5N1 influenza virus. The virus wound up being added to a shipment in March from a secure CDC lab in Atlanta to one run by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in Athens, Georgia. The CDC says both facilities are highly secure and nobody was ever at risk. Frieden said the mistake was discovered in late May, but he was only told about it this week. Can you take me back to the exact moment when you first found out about H5N1? I remember it vividly. I was sitting at uh, my desk in our Washington office, and I was stunned and appalled that this could have happened and that there could have been this type of delay in notification. This comes just after 60-year-old vials of smallpox virus were found in a cardboard box at this NIH building in Maryland. Test results revealed today showed some of the virus is alive. And last month, the agency reported lab workers may have been exposed to live anthrax after sloppy procedures were used at a CDC facility. Certainly, it's a wake-up call. We need to improve systems, and we will improve systems at CDC. The two CDC labs involved in the mistakes have closed temporarily, and Frieden declared an agency-wide moratorium on the transfer of any material between its high-security labs. How can you assure the country that the CDC is doing its job here? I can understand why people would have questions. I have questions. Uh, what happened so far at CDC should never have happened. It's not acceptable. Forgive me for asking this, but is there anything else that you're not telling us? No, uh, we really have a commitment to transparency. We tell it like it is, even if it's an uncomfortable fact, and that's the CDC culture. The CDC has begun an extensive review of safety procedures at the agency. It's creating a new position in charge of lab standards. Dr. Frieden also said appropriate disciplinary action will be taken. John, do they know whether there might be other misplaced pathogens in the system? They don't. And I can tell you that government labs are scouring everywhere looking for anything that shouldn't be there. And the CDC is encouraging lab directors all over the country. Those are labs that are not controlled by the CDC to make sure there's nothing in their labs that shouldn't be there and also to make sure that they review what should be the proper lab procedures. Dr. John LaPook, thank you, John.